Welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I'm Danielle DeTeach, or Coach Danny D, and I help women to create luxury brands by creating processes and tightening their branding. This is where we talk about how to build your business in a way that allows you to work with ease and enjoy your life. My happy space is spending as much time as humanly possible in my pajamas, and I want to help others to find their happy space while still running profitable businesses. So get comfortable and let's dig in. Hello and welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I am your host, Coach Danny D. And I am here talking about the work with ease lifestyle. So I am a business coach. I'm a luxury brand coach. I help people take their creative um, businesses into luxury brands. It does not have to be a hobby. It does not have to be a side hustle. It can be a luxury brand. It can be a six-figure plus business. It can be something that affords you time freedom. So that's what I do as a coach. This podcast is specifically about bringing that work with ease lifestyle to business owners because we are constantly on that grind. We're constantly, um, you know, taught to just go, 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 go. And that's not necessary for success. You do have to put in work, but you don't have to exhaust yourself to be successful. It's all about being strategic and working smarter and doing the things that are going to garner results and that are going to save you time in the process so that you're not always doing and you can actually live and enjoy life. All right, so that's just a little bit about, you know, who I am and what the podcast is about, just in case this is your first time listening. And today I want to talk to you about what are you willing to fight for? And the reason why I wanted to talk about that, I had a conversation this week and I was talking about, um, you know, a lot of times we are talking about how we can't do this and we can't do that. When someone presents us something that may be in alignment with where we want to go, we tend to have a million excuses of why we can't do it. It, You know, the time is not right. The money is not right. The, you know, whatever is not right. And because of that, we tend to shrink back and we tend not to take those steps that may challenge us, but also may put us in trajectory to achieve those things that we really, really want in life. So why is that? Why is it that we are not willing to fight for those things, but even though we're not, we don't always realize it, we're fighting every day to maintain our normal. We're fighting every day to hold on to what exists right now. We fight real hard for it because that's where those excuses come from. I can't do this because I have to maintain this status quo. And to maintain this status quo requires these things. And so we're fighting against what we want to maintain something that is not fully fulfilling for us. We might not be unhappy, but we also may not be fulfilled. We may not be fully walking in our purpose. We may not be doing the things that we know we need to do to achieve greater, to see our desires actualized. We may not be doing those things because we are legitimately fighting for things that we don't want. You don't like the job or you don't like your current situation, but you are so rigid about maintaining it. And why is that? So one, I want you to be aware of that. Think about how often 
you turn down opportunities to do something different, to be someone different, to experience something different because you are trying to maintain your status quo. And I want you to look at when you've turned down some things in your life, look back and think about, was it really that that thing was not right? Was it really that I couldn't figure out how to make it work? Because we figure out how to make our day-to-day life work every day. And it doesn't always work smoothly. It doesn't always make sense. But we figure out how to make it make sense. Why can't we figure out how to make the life we want make sense? Why can't we figure out how to move in a way that is going to take us to the next level. You're not going to get to the next level or that, you know, whatever that success story looks like if you continue to do the same things because the same things are going to get gone or the same results. So you need to be able and willing to take bold action Um If you haven't checked out my blog post, um, I just posted a blog post about my recent trip to Italy. And it's not really about the trip so much as it's about the decision to take the trip. And, you know, I want you to check out the blog post, of course, but just to kind of sum it up, it wasn't like a, you know, no brainer decision as far as the right time or the money saved up or it wasn't any of that, but it was the thing that I know I needed to do. It was the thing that, you know, when it came up, I was like, well, maybe. And then the maybe, you know, turned into a strong calling of, no, this is something that you need to explore. And I'm have zero regrets. And I've never had a regret about um, any action, any bold action that I've taken because no matter what that action was, one, the, the, you know, the confidence to to do that um, and exercising that part of myself that is going to take bold action, um, just doing that in and of itself is its own reward. But two, when you start to move in that way, you, you're you not going to regret decisions because regardless of what happens, you have opened up yourself in a different way. You are exploring the world in a different way. You are thinking about things in a way that are not just limited to your current situation, your current understanding you're expanding, you're growing. Those things are necessary. Those things are going to challenge you. Those things are going to change you. You're not going to be the same after you take these, you know, bold actions in your life. And understand that it doesn't have to start with the boldest of actions, but something that t- that pulls you out of your comfort zone is step one. You know, I didn't start with, um, let me just go to, to, to Italy. It didn't start there. It started with doing things that made me uncomfortable, small things, and continuing to do things that made me uncomfortable, but that I knew were, a, you know, crucial parts of my growth process. Stop resisting the things that are being put in front of you to help you grow. Stop finding excuses. Stop saying now is not the time because all you're doing is kicking that can down the road and you're going to continue to wake up feeling like, oh my God, I don't want to be right here. But you can't leave right here unless you get up out of that seat and take a step in in a, a different direction. So what are you willing to fight for? Are you willing to fight for something different? On the retreat, we talked a lot about abundance and scarcity mindset. 
And I'm definitely a abundance girl. Um, I was blessed to have been raised by someone who had abundance mindset even before I knew what that meant. And I, you know, so I, I already had some of that there, but no matter how much, you know, you may have abundance in one area, you still may have scarcity thinking in another area. So when it came to bold action, that was an area where I definitely had scarcity mindset because I was raised to, you know, you go get the education so you can get the job so that you can, you know, go down that path. And not, I'm not in any way admonishing um, being employed or going down a career path because um, everybody has a different road that's for them. I work with entrepreneurs and that's my, um, that's my lane. But, you know, my husband is um, very happy and successful in his career and that's his lane. And I think that, you know, everybody has to find that balance. I'm not the the coach that's going to tell everybody, go quit your job. That's not, that's not what this is about. But what I'm saying is, is that I was taught that, you know, you follow the path. And you don't buck the system, you know, you just follow that path. And whether you are an entrepreneur or you're going down a career path, you don't have to follow the quote unquote path. You know, the 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 magic is made when you make those bold moves and you, you know, step outside and you, you know, put yourself in a position to be seen differently than just a path follower. And, you know, again, this, you know, scarcity and abundance, you know, we have to release ourselves from our scarcity thinking. Um, I did an episode um, a few weeks back about scarcity and abundance. So you can definitely go back and listen to that episode and hear more about, you know, that thinking and and how you need to um, get that better in balance, right? But I just want you to start fighting for what you want as hard as you, um, whenever you resist, that is fighting for the status quo. So just as hard as you are resisting, I want you to fight for what you want because it can be a reality too. It's just that you're not fighting for it. You have to be willing to fight for it. And the more that you fight for it, the more that you shift your thoughts around going for yours, the more that it becomes easy, that it becomes um, routine, that it becomes just a part of how you operate. So there was a me that would have heard about this trip and would have just been like, oh, that's really cool. But it's not for me because the time is not right and the money is not right. And, you know, this, that, and everything else. There was there was a time that that's how I would have viewed it. Whereas because of my decision years ago to start fighting for what I want instead of what is, that the idea of just, you know, jumping up and going to Italy for a retreat didn't sound crazy to me. It didn't. It was just like, okay, let's do this and I'll make it make sense and I'll make it, you know, happen. I'll make everything fall into place so that this can happen because I'm going to always fight for that life that I want. So how do you need to start fighting for that life? What is the first step? What is the thing that you need to do right now that says, you know what? I'm going down this path. Make a decision today. And again, it does not have to be the boldest thing ever. It just has to be a decision that this is the direction that I'm going in. 
and I'm going to continue to make decisions to get there. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with today. I want you to really think about that. I want you to think about what is that first step out? What does that look like? Um, and for some of you that may require just even sitting down and figuring out what is it that I want? Because we've been living a certain life for so long. Sometimes we don't know what we want, what we really want, not what you know society says is the path, not what our industry says is the path, not what our parents says is the path, but what we individually want. What does that look like? So start there. What is your success story look like? And then from there, what decisions do you need to make to make sure that you're moving in alignment with that success story? All right, so I'm going to leave y'all there. I know that's a lot to process. Um, and I hope you have a great week. I will see you next week. Um, if you are struggling with figuring out what is that, you know, what does that success story look like? I help my clients every day uncover their success story. What does it look like? And what is that path to get there? So you can go to coachdanyd.com. You can book a um, discovery call. We can have a conversation, figure out what's the best um, path for you and how do we um, unlock that success story. So I love to work with you on that. That's, that's, you know, one of my favorite things is going through that process with people. But I just want you to, you know, whether it's with me or not, go through that process because Life is short and we don't want to waste it doing things that just really are not bringing us joy. Have a great rest of your week and, um, you know, go back and listen to some of the past episodes because some some great gems about um, creating that success story are in some of our um, previous episodes. So I will see you guys next week. Thank you for listening to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I hope you got some great tips to start working with ease. Want to stay connected? Follow me at Your Workflow on Instagram. For more information about building your luxury brand, register for my upcoming luxury brand workshop at coachdannyd.com.